वेलकम टू सिग्मा सॉल्वर गाइज बिफोर आई स्टार्ट द वीडियो आई वॉन्ट यू गाइज टू स्मैश द लाइक बटन दिस हेल्प्स द यूट्यूब एल्गोरिदम एंड कीप्स मी मोटिवेटेड एंड इफ यू आर न्यू हेयर देन सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन सो दैट यू नेवर मिस एन अपडेट सो विदाउट एनी फर्दर अडू लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लुक एट अ फेमिलियर टॉपिक विच यू माइट हैव सीन ऑन द चैनल प्रीवियसली विच इज़ कॉन्वोल्यूशन बट टूडे वी विल बी लुकिंग एट सी एन एन विच इज कॉन्वोल्यूशन न्यूरल नेटवर्क प्लस सम ऑफ इट्स कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री कॉन्सेप्ट्स लाइक रेलू ड्रॉप आउट्स एंड सो ऑन सो लेट्स रीड द क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग इमेज इनपुट एंड इमेज कर्नल इज गिवेन टू अस गिव द आउटपुट ऑफ अप्लाइंग कॉन्वोल्यूशन विथ नो पैडिंग विथ अ स्ट्राइड ऑफ टू यूजिंग द फॉलोइंग फिल्टर राइट Apply max pulling of size two cross two followed by ReLU to the output one. Suppose dropout is applied to the output one. Before passing through the next layer, the dropout rate is point five. The next layer has the same CNN filter as one, but applied with a padding such that the size of output is the same as the input, with a stride of one. So now the stride is basically different. Give the output after applying CNN at the next layer, and then finally explain dropout and why it should be applied. So we will try to do the first part, which is apply convolution with no padding and a stride of two. So when it says stride two, it means the number of pixels a filter would move across an image, right? We'll see that in action. So first we took the top left corner of the image. and made it a 3 cross 3 1 because of the size of the kernel we are having as a filter and then we apply convolution to it now the next one or after this convolution we basically move two pixels right from here to this part that's why column which was previously as the first column of the filter kernel now got shifted by 2 so this is what stride 2 means so then this is our second convolution step the third convolution step will be since all the columns are now done after this you cannot move to the next column two strides away because there is no columns next to it here so we try to move downwards horizontally which is 65 68 and then the second one here which is 64 similarly again we do the column one by shifting it from 64 to 75 since now we have got all the four convolution steps let's calculate them so we calculate the first one second one third and fourth simple convolution step and if you are finding it difficult to make these calculations i strongly recommend to watch my previous video which i'll link in the i button here and where you will understand convolution with a laplacian filter and that will help you to basically understand the calculations we are performing here all right now once we are able to calculate all these then the resultant matrix which is a 2 cross 2 matrix basically what we are trying to do is put these values at the center of those selected matrices so let's take the first one this one will be replaced in case of 75 right similarly this one replaces 78 89 and the previous one and then putting them all together and removing all the numbers aside from that we get the 2 cross 2 matrix which we see here right next we apply the max pooling so in the question it was said to apply max pooling so max pooling is used to basically reduce the spatial dimensions of an image while preserving the most important features that is required in cnn let's say it is edges or curves or a 90 degree angles so whatever it be we will preserve that and remove all others so in max pooling we take the maximum value out of the image that we are currently at so in this case since minus 12 is the largest so we took minus 
as the value itself so the entire matrix got replaced by a single one cross one matrix whose value is minus 12 okay now we apply relu relu stands for rectified linear unit so just for understanding purposes relu is used in cnns to increase non linearity in images so images in their natural state are basically non linear but convolution operation can introduce a particular linear relationship in the images relu breaks that and by breaking this we basically get back the actual image features which will be fed into the neural network right this helps the network to learn more complex patterns and basically texture shade shadows and those stuff so on a numerical side what relu will be doing is replace the negative values with zero so after max pooling there was only one value left which is minus 12 in the one cross one matrix now it became zero right so next we have suppose dropout is applied to the output before passing through the next layer and the dropout rate is 0.5 so before jumping into the numerical i'll explain what is a dropout it is basically a regularization technique used in cnns to prevent overfitting and it is done by randomly excluding or you can say dropping out or some books also refer it as setting to zero a portion of the neurons that are there in a particular layer during training so if let's suppose we got this particular neural layer these are the neurons right and let's suppose drop out just put it as zero means this will not contribute to the learning of the network right this basically forces the network to learn from more robust features that does not depend on a single neuron itself right so this improves the general learning of the data so that unseen data can also be predicted accurately so if we just look into the calculation now dropout rate is 0.5 so output will remain the same why because the output was already zero if it had not been then we have to basically split whether it is dropped out and set it to zero and others will remain the same what they were at the relu step okay so if it had been 5 and let's say there were more values as well like a 2 cross 1 where it is 5 and it is 1 so then it might be 5 cross 0 like this right so that's what happens is like since the dropout rate is 0.5 so one of them will have to be reduced to 0 or the other way round which is 0 and 1 right next like padding since the dropout output so the idea is to pass the dropout output to the next layer with padding such that the output matches the input size so if you remember the input size was 3 cross 3 and we need to match that so we basically pad it across all sides and make it zeros around all right so that happened next we go to the last part of the question explain dropout and why it should be applied so as mentioned previously dropout is a regularization technique and during training we randomly select a fraction of the neurons as we saw here and basically set them to zero at each step which forces the network not to rely on specific neurons and encourage generalization so that's been it if you still have any doubts then feel free to reach out in the comment section below if you like this video then give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for the upcoming videos till then happy solving hey there before you go i've got some fantastic content lined up for you over here we've got some videos and playlists you might enjoy but first if you haven't already make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so that you never miss out on any of our future uploads thanks for watching and i'll catch you in the next video